In the U.S. House of Representatives, a critical battle has been won. A bill to suspend the massive $31.4 trillion debt ceiling has passed the Republican-controlled House of Representatives. The deeply divided House voted 314 to 117 to clear the bill late last night. The bill has been temporarily suspended has temporarily suspended the debt ceiling until January 2025. This gives lawmakers breathing room to address the pressing issue after the 2024 presidential election. But it's not just about borrowing limits. The bill also includes spending caps, energy project permits, work requirements for food aid programs, and the clawback of unused COVID-19 funds. It was not an easy decision for both the parties in the lower house of the Congress. Lawmakers from both parties had to set aside their differences, balance their competing priorities, ultimately to let this bill pass the House. Tonight, we all made history because this is the biggest cut and savings this Congress has ever voted for. And it's not that we're just voting for it. This is going to be law. $2.1 trillion. Because of the vote we took tonight, the largest rescissions in American history. All the COVID money, the billions of dollars sitting out there that they said they would never bring back. You know what? To the taxpayer, to you hardworking Americans, we stood for you. We brought that money back. This is extortion, but we have to deal with it. It's for the benefit of our country and the world's economy. U.S. President Joe Biden hailed the passage of the bill as a, quote, critical step to prevent a devastating default. He said, quote, tonight the House took a critical step forward to prevent a first ever default and protect our country's hard earned and historic economic recovery. Now the bill goes to the Senate, which has a slim Democratic majority. The U.S. Senate must vote on the bill later this week before President Biden can sign it into law. The government is forecast to hit its borrowing limit on June 5th, so time is of essence. Uh, so, Mr. Bennett, make good on our promise. The Biden administration is prepared. <laughs>